Hi, everybody, along with Carlin Bathe and Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski for EA Sports. We are in the game, and it's time to drop the puck. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. The Canadians start with possession as we are now underway. Moves it quickly over to Suzuki. Fires it with the stop. Champion's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Can't make the connection on the pass. Takes it to the front. And there's the save. Champions on top of the puck, and that'll stop. Well, that didn't take long. Yeah, early in the game, looks like each team trying to get an upper hand. Nice effective use of the wrestling move. Yeah, you don't see that all the time, but this fight had punched itself out. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Through center along the wing. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And a solid stop on the play there. Scores! There was a spice on that. I don't know how he gets free. I mean, everybody knows he's so good at this one-timer. He gets enough room to power this thing, and it's in the net. Niagara Falls draws first blood with an early opening period goal. Oh, they got to be thrilled with that. They talked about it this morning, that they're a better team when they're in front, as most are. And this is inside the first five minutes. They got a 1-0 lead. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Martin. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Niagara Falls has it in the offensive end. Cappy stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. Puck scooped up by Dvorak. And he takes the feed. Martin's going to play it against the half wall. And he makes the save. Nice and feed. Oh, what a oh. hit on the play. Get your head up or you run into that. Takes a shot. He scores! I captain! Nearing the midway mark of the period. Niagara Falls has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. Puck picked up in the open ice. Oh boy, here's trouble. Two on one. Winds up, lets it go. Close save. How did he get a piece of that? Puck grabbed by Dunlop. Montreal's got possession here in the offensive zone. And we've got a two on one. Oh, what a chance. And a James, the goalie's just going to drop into the butterfly, try and play the percentages and hope the puck hits him because he can't see it. There's so much traffic in front of the net. He doesn't find it, it doesn't hit him, and it's in the goal. The Flyers look to start the transition game. The Canadians take over on possession. And that banks off a stick. 
Slides it up front. Got the thought. Hit, you can hear it all the way from up here. Lots of times I miss playing, James. That's not one of them. I like I'm in a suit right now. That one hurt. And he gets a paddle on that one. Hey, James, we got to get another look at that. He's pretty rattled here. Looks like he took a pretty big hit. Suzuki's plate is getting a little fuller by the moment here. As the captain of this team, he's got to be the one to rally them. He's got to be the one to show them a way out of this mess they're in. Quick pass across to Cooper. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Cappy's not going to escape the booze tonight. They're all over him after he caused the injury earlier on in that controversial play. Shot on net. Chances like this, you work so hard to get into that great position. You've got to at least get it on the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Flyers just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Hey, maybe you can create some offense against the tired team after the icing. Feeds the puck over to Suzuki. Dunlop's got it deep in the offensive end. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Coming to the slot. Pass broken up. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. That's almost a little embarrassment as you go to the box for the second time in the period. Not going to be a good video meeting. Montreal's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Uh, the power play guys are hungry and over the boards quickly. This is their first power play tonight. Of course, it starts with a face-off in the offensive zone. Niagara Falls has the puck. Trying to dump it out. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Niagara Falls will try to break out here shorthanded. Moves it to Suzuki. You're 10 five, stand up hit on the play. Poked away in the neutral zone by Suzuki. Oh, look out! Oh, what a collision into the board. Niagara Falls gains possession under man. And a strong physical collision on the play there. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Offside the call will get a reset. Dunlop's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Just here in the late stages of this frame, and the ice has been tilted to this point. Three nothing is where we sit right now. Montreal's won the draw. Martin's got it against the boards. Champion's gonna bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Montreal's got it, and they're on the attack. Champions on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Niagara Falls takes possession off the draw. And we'll reset things after that icing. Montreal's won the faceoff. Takes a shot! 
And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night. The other, not so much. Nice job tying up his opponent. Quick pass to Ramos. To his teammate. And a stick break setup. Puts that one high. Yeah, man, did he ever airmail that over the top of the net? He's trying to go right under the bar. Sometimes the puck sits funny when you shoot it and you almost lose control of it. And that pass doesn't go. Can't make it work. Yep, let's and go. a little body contact on that play. Throws one up to Cappy. It's a three on one. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Moves inside. Slides the puck over. He's got a step. Ooh, is awesome. That third goal is such a rarity. It's a great feeling. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you. You're trying to read him. The shooter wins this time. Dunlop's won the draw inside the neutral zone. There's a collision with some authority. The Canadians have it from their own end. Takes it at center. Scoops up the puck here. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, there was some TNT with that collision there. Yeah, that wasn't just going to rub somebody out of the play. He's known for this. If he's got an opportunity to blow somebody up, he's going to do it. That was a big hit. And the puck departs the zone. And some textbook body contact there. Dishes it to Horak. Please, try again. by the goaltender. Champions had a good seat for most of this offensive explosion. They're winning by a pile, and he hasn't had much to do. Well past the midway mark of this period, Niagara Falls has taken total control of this one. They're leading by four. Suzuki's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. The Canadians played along the boards. Quick feed to Broda. Now a quick pass to Ramos. Montreal's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Suddenly pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop.
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Quick pass to Cappy. Tosses it on to Martin. The Canadians carry it along the wall. And that's broken up. Poked away in the defensive end. Works it across to Dunlop. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Suzuki. The Flyers take possession in the neutral zone. Stays with it. Strong defensive effort. Break away. Oh, he got Liza. What a save. Now he was locked in on that. The shooter prepares the puck, and the goaltender is right on top of it to make the save. Dunlop's got something bothering him here. He doesn't really look like he's 100% as he tries to finish his shift. James, you get on the board for the first time, you'll never forget it. You've spent so much time thinking about it, dreaming how it's going to be. I can tell you it's probably not the way you dreamed it, but who cares? It's on the board. Here in the late goings of the period, Niagara Falls looks like they're not done yet wanting to extend what this blowout lead is. Thunderstruck! Well, that's what he's been. Yeah, well, the coach has been walking up and down the bench parking and his team somebody the message. They need to put a little energy into this game. They're getting past you got so far. Wow. And well, he got hit. James, there's no one to go sometimes. You know you're going to get it. You just have to take the hit. Moves it quickly over to Cooper. Feeds the puck to Cappy. Here's a blast. There's the buzzer. Two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Flyers came to play, and boy, did they ever, leading 5-0. A centering chance! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Dunlop's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he turns that one aside. like this. You don't beat a goalie very much from this position on the ice with that type of shot, but quickly delivered, lots of velocity and well placed. Niagara Falls has won the draw. They take possession in the neutral zone. Can't make the connection on the pass. Taken by Dunlop. Passes on over to Ramos. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside.
While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. There's a solid collision. Niagara Falls has it in the open ice. Fails to find the open man. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Tries to get the puck over to Martin. Oh, and they probably want to redo on that. Goaltender gave him nothing as it goes on yeah, the side right. of the Oh, did he punish him for going into the corner on that play? Sends the puck across. changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Niagara Falls is back to center ice. Is this their best performance we've seen this year? Offensively, it's as good as any other night that they've had. Domination in the offensive zone. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Suzuki's got it along the wing. Penalty coming up. Get right! Oh, what's the word I'm looking for in that? The thesaurus. Oh, you got it. Truculent? Yeah, I know you were ready to fire that up. That is a big hit. And I knew you were digging for that one. Montreal's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. It doesn't really matter what the power play's done before you. You gotta have a short memory. What you have now is a power play right in front of you. Make sure you focus in on what you're trying to accomplish. Comes up with a monster save in front. Niagara Falls plays it against the boards. And he takes the pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Montreal's got the puck. The Canadians have it in the offensive end. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Dunlop's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Gets it out of his own end. Now he slides it up to Cappy. The Canadians run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. All well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done, the power play expires. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Horak's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. And that pass can't connect. Here's a blast. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Picked up along the board by Reynolds. Dunlop's looking to make something happen here in the corner. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You can feel the air coming out of the bench here. Down a bunch, and now they take a penalty. Niagara Falls sends their man advantage unit out for the first time this evening. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. And that carries off a body in traffic. The Canadians get a hold of the puck under man. On the attack, they come down the right wing. The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Niagara Falls has long been a great defensive team, and they've done it again tonight. This is an outstanding performance for them. Hangs on to the puck. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Big play inside the defensive zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Oh, what a collision with that hit. Known for this, he doesn't make any mistake. Includes the opportunity to lay a body check out, and he's right on it. Here's a shot! Oh, what a chance, but misses! 
You don't get many scoring chances this good. I mean, like, look, we're struggling for a goal here. This is one chance that's going to hurt. Dunlop's won the draw inside his own end. And that pass attempt is deflected. Regains possession at center. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Here's a short pass to Horak. And that's blocked from someone in front. What a steal in his own end. Takes the pass. Long lead pass into the open ice. Can't find his man. Tries to feed it over to Horak. There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Sliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Montreal's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Niagara Falls has it in their own zone. Grabs the puck at center. The Flyers looking against the half wall. Denies the shooter on that play. Moves it to Ramos. And the puck leaves the zone. Brona's got it now deep inside his own end. And less than a minute to go finally in this one. Quick feed to Martin. Can't get it to go. And that's blocked in traffic. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle and here's the call. Well, they got a comfortable lead, James. I don't think this penalty's really going to matter that much at all. something here. 
On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.